Uh, well, I showed you a week or two ago that I had a breach here on this swale. Hard to see a swale, but that is a low place and a bank up here. Low, I come in here and hit it with the tractor, banked it up here, took the dirt and pushed it up here. And I had a breach right about here uh, and it allowed the water from, instead of running down this hill, and that this is uh, a slope here, instead of running down this hill, it allowed the water to, to pool in the swale and then breach the swale and go over. And I had some, some ruts cut in there big time and bad. Uh, so what I was going to do was come in here and dig this swale out. I don't, uh, with, uh, under further examination, it looks like to me, I just let this side of it here where it's supposed to come right through here and exit. Well, that right there is built up. That's kind of a dam right in there. That's probably six inches deep right there and then it comes up to, to ground level. So I'm just gonna come in here. We got some rain coming tonight and we a good, if, if, if it's a hard rain, we've got, it's good to be a good test for it. Uh, come in here, right, start right in here and just cut that out and allow it to flow that way, which is what it's supposed to do, just go that way. So I just, I'm gonna set up the camera and show you, basically just come in here like this and, and push it back that way. You know, come in, push it back, come in, push it back. And I might use a shovel a little bit, I don't know, just to kind of move this, because it looks like to me the swell is deep enough. I don't see, I don't see it being a problem. Now I may have a problem down the other end. I may need to, to dig that out way down there because I did have a breach right in there too. And that doesn't have much of a, much of a gully, much of a, a trench there. So I may, I may come in here and just dig the whole dead gum thing out, who knows. Let me get started on it and I'll show you, show you what I'm doing. But I, for sure, I'm gonna dig that out to where once it gets to this point, runs down to this point, it's got somewhere to go, downhill. Right now it hits that and it's kind of uphill and it breached and went that way. So the dam was stopping it up and it went that way. So we want to make it go that way. Come on, Skabota. She's my old trusty steed. She don't take no hay. She just drinks diesel feed. Down in the holler, I'm the king of the hill With a loader bucket that's got a mind of its will I'm digging in a scoop and slinging dirt to the sky Trying to beat the rain for it floods me dry Mud is flying, my wits are thin One wrong move, I'm stuck up to the shin Took a hard right turn Hit a patch of wet muck, a loader bucket stuck, boy, I'm plumb out of luck. The wife's on the porch, laughing at my plight, said you sure you're a farmer, or just playing tonight. I'm digging in a scoop and slinging dirt to the sky, trying to beat the rain for it floods me dry. I swear on my boots, this trench will work, just hope my Kubota can keep slinging dirt. It's a glorious mess The trench meant to hell Looks like I tried less But I can't admit defeat I'm a stubborn fool A man in his tractor Playing work like at school By morning the water's Pooling up by the shed The wife's hollering better use your head I shrug my shoulders with a sheepish grin Hop back on the Kubota Let the games begin So, you know, basically I just dug down and you can see what my ground is like underneath all this good looking black stuff that I made out of compost or out of uh, wood chips. But that's, that's, what my, that's what my ground looks like about, I don't know, two or three inches down. Uh, but just come in here and, and packed it down with the tire, pushed it up, rolled it up, and uh, 
it's not pretty. I could come in here and, and drag it maybe with a, I could run a tiller maybe over the top of it right there and kind of break up some of those chunks and stuff. Don't know that I will. The grass is going to cover it pretty quick uh, with all the range we're, we're going to get and, and stuff. And I don't know, it's, uh, it's pretty straight. Uh, got a couple of places where I might have dug in a little quick right in there, but by and large, a nice little trench moving that way. The water doesn't run straight this way. It kind of runs this way. I mean, the, my, my, my slope doesn't run straight this way. My slope kind of runs that way. So it's going to hit this, run down, go around, and get away from my dadgum garden. And I was going to say I hope, but I know it will because, again, this is not my first rodeo. This is my second swell in this area here. The first one just filled in a little bit over the years, and it's been, I don't know, three or four years since I've done it. So it's going to hit right here, going to come down right here, and instead of the breach that I had right here and going that way, it's going to run right down and just going to go and out there. I love it, and uh, hopefully we get enough rain tonight where I can kind of test it. We'll see. And uh, if so, I'll bring you out here and, and show you what it's doing. And uh, you know, they're not pretty, especially that, especially that deep. I may, I may went a little bit, I may went a little bit overboard, but don't want to do it again for several years. They're not real pretty until they get, uh, until the grass grows over them, and then you can't really hardly tell it. It's just a kind of dip in the ground and comes up, and it just takes a little while for it to to look more attractive. So my wife's gonna come out here and say, "What have you done?" Yeah. Don't worry about it because you don't know what uh, problems I've been having with my water erosion. Anyway, and I won't tell her that because she whooped me, but um, uh, it's, this is Swale 101. It's just uh, getting rid of the water. If you've got a garden that is downhill and rain comes and washes your garden away, this is the absolute way to, uh, to di di divert it, to direct it in a way that you want it to go and not run across your garden and wash out your corn and your peas and all your stuff. So uh, make you a swell if you've got, you know, if you don't have a tractor, I, I get it. Uh, it can be done with a shovel. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm just really not fond of being on the end of a shovel. Uh, for some reason, I just, I don't care for it as much as I used to when I was a younger man. Didn't like it then, but like it even less now. Uh, be planting this pretty soon in peas and I'm gonna put some sunflowers in peas and okra I think out there and uh, just planted corn I've got it's it's time it's time we're, we're getting it done and showing you dadgum most of it if not all of it so uh, that could be smoother I may have to come in here and kind of pull pull my bucket across that which I did once but maybe a couple of more times and try to smooth that down a little bit make it look a little gooder may do that all right you've seen the swell you've got the 101 picture of it <laughs> and we're gone